Squeeze your abs. Tighten your core. Pull your belly button to your spine. Activate your core. These are a lot of different things you've probably been told to do in workouts, but do you really know what they mean? Or are you getting back pain after your workouts? Well, we're gonna change your perception of how the, what the core is and how it works. And we're gonna to show to you that maybe squeezing alone is not the best way to activate your core. When in reality, we should be using what's called intra-abdominal pressure. All right, before we get started, I'm Dr. RJ Burr. I'm Kristen Salinas. And we're part of Reach Rehab and Chiropractic Performance Center, where we provide sports chiropractic, massage therapy, and a slew of other services in the Plymouth area, suburbs of uh, Detroit, um, where we take the guesswork out of healing. We help you... Um, I lost it. <laughs> we help you... Where we help you take the guesswork out of healing so you can do more than just relief pain. You can become unstoppable. That wasn't scripted. So, <laughs> all right. Ready? All right, so go ahead and lay on your back. We're going to come into a typical core activation uh, position where people do most of their core work. So you're going to bring your knees up to that tabletop position. All right, so we're going to try to get your back nice and flat against this table here and then take your arms up in the air. Good. This is, this is a pretty typical core activation exercise, like a dead bug. And so, RJ, I'm going to have you pull your belly button as tight as you can to your spine. So big belly, and I'm going to suck it in. Good. Okay. Let's squeeze. Now, go ahead and try to resist my pressure as I push your arms down to the table. Look at his whole oh, body. Oh okay. <laughs> All right. Now we're going to... Right arm, right arm. I know I'm stronger here. <laughs> so Good. not much ability to resist me there his whole body distorted and contorted to resist that core pressure all right so now we're going to use intra-abdominal pressure we're going to inflate into our belly while relaxing our chest down all right ready good i'm going to push his arms down again and we're going to see how well he holds this okay, one sorry ready? go ahead go. ready one two three all right so I'm putting just as much force into this. It doesn't feel like it. I feel like you're not, you're like, you could poke, like you're poking me with your pinky or something. <laughs> yeah, not at all. Here, I'll get into a deeper stance there. You ready? <sighs> this is the difference between pulling your belly button into your spine and using the proper intra-abdominal pressure to contract your core. Pretty distinct difference. All right, so what over there is the, the core ABCs. Basically, we need alignment breathing control. So my rib cage to my pelvis, that was simply by pushing the small of my back to the table, breathing, filling up the abdomen with pressure. And then from there, we can control movement. Now, we went through the basics of just showing how by generating pressure, you can get more stability. But really, to understand this more and start to utilize it, we've got other videos that explains this in more detail, and then some other videos that you can go through and start practicing this on your own so you can start learning this. Because the goal of this, I mean, my goal is not to be able to lay down like a baby with my legs up in the air or be a dead bug, so to say, but we can use that as a way to facilitate better movement on two legs, whether it's squatting, lunging, walking, and anything else. So if me at 100 pounds could push his arms down when he pulled his belly button to the spine, what chances does he have to do a heavy lift or a squat or anything overhead while stabilizing his spine? No chance. Our spine becomes so, um, what's a good word for that? Compromised. Our spine becomes so compromised when we activate our core in the traditional way that we were all taught. This intra-abdominal pressure gives us much more stability and creates way bigger gains in the gym in addition to our active lifestyle. So if you had a hard time figuring out what any of these things meant in either this video or any of the other videos that we've created, give us a call, contact us so that we can help you find your way to feeling unstoppable. 
All right, before you go, make sure you please like, comment, subscribe, hit the thumbs up for YouTube, the heart for Instagram on YouTube. They have those cards that pop up and I'm not sure which corner. Um, those are linked to other uh, videos that help you with this breathing, intra-abdominal pressure, stability, pro core process. So make sure to click on those or at the end of this video, we'll have two suggested videos of your next steps to building your core stability.